Hello folks, today I have a question from, let me write the code here, I forgot to write it beforehand, so it is 9702, 22FM20. Uh, so it is 2020, February, March session, paper 22, and the question number is 3. Uh, <coughs> number is, uh, uh, says that, uh, state what is mean by work done. So work is said to be done when um, the net force applied on a body uh, displaces it uh, in the direction of the force and is given by fs cos theta theta is the angle between the directions of force and the displacement now b a skier is pulled along horizontal ground by a wire attached to a kite so we have the wire here kite here skier here ground here as shown in figure 3.1 the skier moves in a straight line along the ground along the ground with a constant speed of 4.4 meter per second so v equal to 4.4 meter per second the wire is at an angle of 30 to the horizontal so this is theta the tension in the wire is uh, <coughs> 140 newton so it is uh, t calculate the work done uh, calculate the work done uh, by the tension to move the skier for a time of uh, 30 uh, seconds so this is equal to small t so what uh, we should have here is we know that we know that uh, work is equal to force force here is tension so tension into displacement, displacement is S horizontal into cos of theta. Theta. So it should be equal to T. Yes, so horizontal is equal to the horizontal velocity, this V into T. So V into T, then cos of theta. Because it has been said uniform speed. So we don't need to uh, use the acceleration factor, which is not given as well. So simply uh, add uniform velocity. Uh, distribution is equal to velocity into time so that's equal to 140 into v is a 4.4 into time is a 30 seconds 30 seconds 4.4 uh, into cos of uh, 30 degrees so that becomes equal to when i do the calculations <coughs> so 140 uh, into 4 point sorry 4.4 uh, into 30 into cos 30 back it close so equal to so this is 16,004 so it is a 16,004 point something joules so if I write it in uh, 10 to power uh, 10 in terms of 10 to power so it will be 1.60 into 10 to the power uh, 1 3 so one two three four sorry i put one zero uh, more here so this is not there uh, so it is one two three four so 10 to the power four joules 10 to the power four joules now <coughs> now in the next question the weight of the skier is uh, uh, 860 newton so this is weight the vertical component of the tension uh, in the wire and the weight of the skier combined combined yes of course they should combine they should give a resultant so that the skier exerts a, a downward pressure on the ground of this much pascal so it is pressure resultant determine the total area of the skis in contact with the ground so we have to determine the area of this ski so it can you can see here slightly bold here area so what we must have is the pressure resultant should be equal to force resultant on the skis by its area so this gives us our area is equal to force resultant by pressure resultant and this becomes equal to the force resultant is is weight minus weight weight is uh, downward and the vertical component of tension is this thing so this thing slightly lifts up this thing is downward so they act opposite so in the resultant we have got minus so f minus t sine theta so it should be since this is t cos theta this should be t cos theta and the vertical should be t sine theta because theta is the angle with the horizontal divided the pressure resultant is uh, 2400 pascal so it will be equal to area is equal to w is 860 minus t is 140 140 then sine 30 degrees divided this 2400 so let's do it so 860 minus 140 into sine 30 uh, equal to divided 
2400 equal to so that's equal to 0 0.329 so when i write it in uh, 3sf i wrote this in 3sf so let me go for 3sf so 329 so it is 0 0.329 meter squared so 0 0.329 meter squared now in the next question we have the wire attached to the kite is uniform so this wire it means that the cross section of the wire is uniform it is not uh, kinked uh, that what is what the stress is the stress in the wire is 9.6 into 10 to the power 6 pascal calculate the diameter of the wire so the stress is equal to stress is equal to force on the wire which is tension by its uh, cross section so uh, that crossing of the wire so that's equal to t by uh, t by pi diameter of wire square by 4 equal to 4 t by pi diameter of wire square so this will give us this will give us diameter of wire square is equal to is equal to uh, 4 t by pi into stress stress equal to uh, so everything is given now the tension t is equal to uh, 140 newton so we'll have it is a 4 into 140 divided pi into 9.6 into 10 to the power 6 now this becomes so this becomes it is a 4 into 140 4 into 140 equal to divided a shift uh, pi into 9.6 exponent 6 very close equal to that is diameter squared so this gives us this gives us d is equal to d is equal to equal to so uh power 0.5 equal to so that is 4.309 something something so it should be 4.31 so 4.31 into 10 to the power 10 to the power minus 3 meters so minus 3 meters so it is 4.31 into 10 to the power minus 3 meters so the last one the variation with extension x of the tension f tension f in the wire in b is shown as like this so force here uh, the extension here a gust of wind increases the tension in the wire from 140 newton to 210 newton so the tension is increased from 140 to 210 so this is 140 210 is here so tension increases like this change the calculate the change in the strain energy stored in the wire so for that what we should know is if tension is like this we have to uh, find the change in extension as well so from here here initial extension is this much and the final is from here here final is this much now the change in strain energy is delta u is equal to u1 minus u2 u initial minus u final equal to or u final minus initial so u final is what we have is u final is the area covered by the graph by the graph till 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 this thing the area covered by the graph till this thing so i can write it as uh, um no, I shouldn't do that. It will make the diagram a bit rougher. So what I should do is, let's know it by th this thing. So we have the area from here to here is the is the final strain energy stored. So that's equal to one by two into uh, height. Height is two ten, two ten. So into two hundred ten into into uh, height. So in, into into the base. Base is zero point six zero millimeter. So it's equal to. 0 0.60 into 10 to the power minus 3 this is final minus 1 by 2 initial into the initial uh, force is uh, this 140 given here 140 into 140 into the displacement is so this is 0 0.4 uh, 0 0.40 into 10 to the power minus 3 so this should be the strain energy stored here so let's calculate so this is a uh, uh, to uh, 105 so it should be uh, 105 into 0.6 equal to 
let's do general minus later minus so this is 70 70 into 0.24 that was equal to this much into one exponent minus three so that's equal to that's equal to, that's equal to 0 0.035 so 0 0.035 uh, 35 <coughs> 35 uh, joules or I can say it as I can say it as uh, 0 0.035 uh, joules so I can say it as a 35 into 10 to the power minus 3 joules as well minus 3 joules as well so, so, so I can write it as 35 into 10 to the power minus 3 joules so this is the complete solution to this problem